four members of the commission present, they being Peter Cray, Jared Gentilucci, Melissa Danza, and Skip Clark. I declare we have a quorum and I open the February 16th meeting of the Conservation Commission, February 16th, 2021. Uh, I am going to waive the reading of the remote meeting notice because we all know what's going on by now. Uh, let, oh gosh, maybe I should be sharing a screen now so you all can see what I'm looking at. Uh -oh. And it went like even better. There we go. So we start with the minutes of February 2. I've given it a fast read. I didn't see any problems. Anybody have any other comments about it? Um, no. 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 Motion. Second. Ah, roll call vote. Clark. Aye. Gentilucci. Aye. Danza. Aye. Crane Eye. Easy. Moving on. Uh, no, we're not there yet. We're still here. So we've had a request to extend the orders of conditions for the Demon Pond Watershed Association, Watershed Association who are doing some invasive weed treatments. Uh, Solitude Lake Management came before us well, since 2015, as it says, uh, and we gave them a full four, uh, five year, five year or six year, what's the maximum, Melissa? I suddenly don't remember. Three. No, there's a way to give them more than that. Because we gave them more than three years. No, I mean, going back, it would have been three years because it's three in the initial one. So that's 2018 and then three brings it up to 20. I didn't think we extended them in 18. In any event, they're back for more. Peter, we did extend it in 18. I put that, we did? I believe, uh, yeah, I believe I put that into the drive um, that it's going to expire March 17th. Okay. So what's the rule? Never, ever trust Peter's memory. Okay. <laughs> so good. Because there was something, oh, that was for DEP and Long Pond that we did more than a three-year order, I think. I, again, memory, don't trust, moving on. So as we know, we're, uh, they're, they're cleaning up the, uh, the invasive weeds, they're doing treatments and removals and things like that, and they'd like to extend the order of conditions. Uh, I'm going to quote to this next to last paragraph, no significant change to the program are proposed. Can plan to continue with the herbicide algicide treatments in midsummer to mitigate nuisance and invasive plant conditions. Um, uh, there's nobody here to talk for them, but uh, anybody have any questions? Okay, then I think we're ready for a motion to extend the order of conditions for three more years. So move. Second. Roll call. Gentilucci. Aye. Danza. Aye. Clark. Aye. Crane Aye. That's true. Now let's go down to our four discussion points. Molten Pond Dam and Pomegranate Road Work. Woohoo! This should be fun. Except we've already seen it. We've already issued orders. So some of you are new to it. But for those of you who uh, those of you who remember it, there, there are some changes. And for those of you who have seen it before or who have not seen it, well, this is an interesting thing. Uh, I see two gentlemen on board, John Morgan and James Hall. Um, please introduce yourselves and tell us about the changes. Hey, good evening. My, my name is uh, John Morgan with CHA, and I'm the design manager for the project. Um, and James Hall is our wetlands uh Scientist Jay, you want to introduce yourself? Good evening. How are we doing this evening? Fine, thanks. How about yourself? Not too bad, thank you. All right. Um, so, CHA is working for the town of Rutland, DPW, um, on both the Pomegranate Road Route 56 roadway reconstruction project and the uh, the Molten Pond Dam project that was permitted previously, which is within the limits of the roadway project. Mm -hmm. So, uh, basically, 
the roadway project extends from Main Street to just north of Brunel Drive. It's about a mile, one mile long stretch of a, a, a roadway that we will be reconstructing. And uh, the dam is uh, a little bit uh, past the midpoint uh, within the project limits. And I guess the reason we're here today is to give you an update on where things stand. Um, we permitted the, uh, the standalone dam project um, back in 2018, got a uh, order of conditions at that time. However, the uh, town did not have the funds to uh, pursue the project and continue to uh, through construction. So they were looking for alternate funding mechanisms and it was decided to uh, combine the dam work with the roadway project and uh, use that funding source to get the work done. Mm -hmm. So it's now going to be part of the roadway project. Um, so the roadway project is going through mass DOT because it involves transportation improvement program funding, um, state and federal funds. So the project requires mass DOT review and approval. Um, so what we're at at this point in that project is uh, we're going to be moving to the 75% design of that uh, status for that, for that project. We'll be looking to make a, a filing probably in April and at that time, we would submit uh, updated plans and also draft permits for the roadway project mm -hmm. to Mass DOT for review. And then um, following their comments and feedback, we'd uh, incorporate anything that they'd like to see, any changes. And then we would be probably looking to permit the roadway project uh, this summer. So we'd, we'd be coming back before the CONCOM and... Um, several other uh, permitting agencies uh, as needed. And then Jay can go through a list of, I guess, where the, all those permits stand from the original dam, uh, dam submission. But uh, mm -hmm. that's really what we're looking at. And the roadway project, um, we expect to complete the design for that project next spring, um, advertise for construction, summer of 2022, and then uh, construction would begin probably around fall of 2022. Um, so at this point, uh, we really want to come in, get uh, some feedback on the best way to proceed, considering we already have a order of conditions for the work at the dam, mm -hmm. and get some feedback as to whether we should extend that order of conditions, possibly uh, modify the, you know, the permit we already have to include the roadway work, or whether we should file a new NOI um, for the roadway work separate from the work at the dam, although it's going to be constructed as one project now. Um, we, we wanted to get some guidance as far as uh, what the best way to proceed is for um, coming back to the CONCOM. Well, well, that's fair. So let me ask a couple leading questions. Um, is there any possibility that the dam work would be done before the road work just because of the state? Number one, the state of the dam itself. Number two, the fact that you've already permitted it. Uh, but I don't know about the precise availability of funds for the work. I don't know what DOT plans to do for, for it's my understanding that the road work and the dam work, while under the same project umbrella, are really separate kinds of work. At least that's one of the things that I've heard in some of the meetings I've attended. Uh, and so, I, and so, from a larger, from a higher order perspective, is it feasible to get the dam work done before the road work? Uh, just, just to get that that part of the. <laughs> Right. Like that nobody likes, which is the dam, <laughs> taking care of early. Right. Uh, the, I guess the way the funding program works is, you know, the, they they place the project into a federal fiscal year for funding, and it's in the federal fiscal 2022 funding year. And typically, they would only um, only do one advertisement and put out one bid to the contractors. It might be possible that uh, we could. 
I would imagine that the dam work might be done first as part of the, the contract, uh, you know, the beginning of the construction season. But again, that still wouldn't be probably until fall of 2022. I don't through this through this funding mechanism, I don't see a way that they would start the dam work before that time. OK, second question, are there any changes to the dam or spillway or any of that work? So we will have to go back through MassDOT to have them review the plans at this point. Originally, you know, they were not involved in our mm -hmm. in our design and review of our design. So we expect that there'll be some minor changes. Um, you know, one thing that has come up already is we had proposed a 10 foot wide span uh, for the culvert mm -hmm. and anything 10 feet or above is considered a bridge by MassDOT. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, you know, there was talk of, uh, you know, changing that to a nine foot, nine inch span instead of a 10 foot span, you know, a very minor change. Um, you know, we would make sure that they still worked for hydraulics and met the conditions of, you know, of the uh, DCR dam safety. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, there might be, you know, minor change like that. And the other changes there are, you know, their structural engineers are going to look at this and they may have different ideas on what they think should be done for, for footings on the wing walls, things like that. Mm -hmm. you know, more of a, a, a structural issue, you know, that we might change something like that. But I don't think there'll be, you know, a significant change to, you know, the, the configuration or the, uh, you know, the, the overall layout of the, of the, of the structure. Uh, okay. Then let's ask the next question. What other CONCOM permitting is required for the rest of the, for the road work proper? So I guess the rest of the of the roadway, we don't have any direct uh, wetland impact. We'd certainly be working within buffer zones. Um, we do have um, at the northern end of the project, we are looking to do some wetland replication, but that is for um, that will be for work. That will be for the impacts associated with the dam as part of the. Mm -hmm. uh, permitting that was done for the dam, you know, we said that we would look to find a place to mitigate. And uh, there is a location just north of Brunel uh, Drive um, where we believe we can 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 uh, do the replication within the roadway layout so that, you know, there wouldn't be impacts to private property. Um, mm -hmm. So that's uh, that would be uh, shown in the in the updated plans. Um, but other than that, uh, we really don't have any uh, significant impacts, I don't believe. Uh, we are be be re building a retaining wall as a wetland in between uh, Richards Avenue and Brunel Drive uh, on that, uh, That's I guess, on the west side. Yeah, so that there's, there's, there is a uh, wetland up there, but we will build, build we're proposing a retaining wall in order to avoid impacts to that wetland. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we Peter, I'm going to chime in here as well. Um, Please. We do have a very small amount of riverfront area that is going to be part of the road work south of the dam. So the dam stops just before our riverfront area ends. So it will be a riverfront area and buffer zone. You can see that right at the bottom of the page there. Down here, right. We yeah. also have part of the zone A public water supply with Molten Pond and Mill, yeah, Millbrook yep. is it's on both sides of the road, but it also extends along the wetlands on the west side of the road to the north end of the, pro uh, the project approximately. Okay. So that will be something that will have to be discussed as part of the road work, just mm -hmm. so it adds one more feature to it if, if uh, as that goes. Is this Richards right here? Um, I've lost track of my location. No, I think that's, no, that's further Moulton, up, isn't it? I think that's, yeah, like uh, Molten Mill. Oh, Pond that's Molten. Oh, 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 okay. Yes, I remember what road that is now. Yeah. There's actually a commission member who isn't present tonight who lives on this road. Ah. 
And if memory serves, he lives right about here. I, I see. Uh, I am sure he's quite familiar with this project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, are there other questions from the commission? For the roadway, I guess, what would be the total scope that you would be coming, not necessarily the scope, but location that you would be coming in front of us for in this particular section? Would you call it a lot larger than kind of what's related to the dam? Uh, the, the road will be uh, widened, but uh, yeah. we had, you know, we had uh, accounted for that when we designed the dam. So, the, you know, we won't have to change any of the of the uh, design for the dam. The existing road throughout uh, the project is probably 24 to 26 feet wide on average. And we'll be widening out to approximately 32 feet. And that's in order to get a um, five foot shoulder for bicycles on both sides of the road. We'll also be adding a sidewalk on the uh, on one side of the road on the mainly on the east side of the road yeah, uh, it it's does east for a while then it shoots across the road and goes and stays yeah. on the west side if i remember the plan correctly right up at richards um, it does switch over um, to the west side in order to connect to that neighborhood and um, so yeah there, there will definitely be some additional impervious area due to the uh, the widening and uh, addition of the sidewalk. Um, yeah, we don't have the plans here for the whole project. At least I don't think this is all inclusive. I think this is re this is really just the original filing yeah, for, for the dam itself. Plan for right. the dam. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll stop looking and <laughs> looking for things <laughs> that aren't there. Uh, Peter, would you like me to give you a rundown of what permits we have? and talking to the various agencies, what they anticipate moving forward with the road work involved or incorporated into the dam project? That would be great, thank you. Okay, we obviously have your notice of intent, 277-0524. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't actually have the original. I believe it was issued on October 2nd, 2018. I will probably have to talk to you folks to find out what the actual date is. Um, and that will incorporate the dam and most of the environmental work. As John mm -hmm. mentioned, it's basically there's, I think there's four wetlands total, which I'll have to redelineate because I think the three year period has expired. Uh, but right. things have changed too much. Mm -hmm. So moving forward, you keep in the back of your mind, you can extend the order of conditions for an existing three years if you want to, if there's only minor modifications. Mm -hmm. And then I have a completely different NOI if you want for the road, depending on how you decide what to do with this. Um, just because, as you said, if you want to try to get the road done sooner, but I think unfortunately with the funding, it's all going to have to be within a certain time frame and dam maybe uh, completed or constructed before the road work is done. But I think that window is still, it's not going to be you do one one year and you do the, another the, another year, that type of thing. Right, right. But I was, while well, the... <laughs> One of the many things that concerns me is the town's eminent domain process in order to get to, to acquire easements for all the land and for all the sidewalk and the bike and the widening. There are all of that is going to need easements. And I just don't know how long that part of the process will take as opposed to the dam work, which is it's not perfectly isolated, but it's pretty isolated, which is why I was kind of hoping it it could launch early. But I understand that it wouldn't certainly go in a, an entire year early. Um, this is the federal government, after all. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> um, all right. Well, that's certainly a good feature to keep in mind. Um, I'll just go through the permits just and if we have to yes. go tangent please stop me and ask questions as we go this is for you guys so the more information you have the better off we are so we have the notice of intent and again i'm presuming it's somewhere around uh, october of 2018 so that won't have to be um if you're going to extend it and keep it as two uh two uh two projects that can be done in the fall or you know even the summer type of thing 
Um, we have a MEPA certificate, which was issued on August um, 24th of 2018. Mm -hmm. I talked to them and they will actually, because most of the resources are around the dam itself and there's very little impact to resources, environmental resources that we would be under your purview or theirs, they just want a project notice change. Or pro uh, and so PNC is basically what we'll do is we'll have to write up the whole report, which describes the road work as well, because there are other triggers in MEPA, such as road riding with a sidewalk, that type of thing. But really, that's about it. There aren't any other big issues involved, and most of the stuff's already been vetted out with the original MEPA certificate. So they just want a project, not um, project notice change so that they can um, just get that on record, but have it a much easier process than having to go through the whole ENF again. Sure, sure. So they're they're going to basically just use the same one. I talked to Gary Delmain at the 401 Water Quality Program at DEP, and he smiled and said, most of your impacts are with the Zone A, and so he's just going to have us update any plans and things, and he can do a project mod modification. So he's not going to require a new uh, updated 401 Water Quality Cert. He's just going to use existing one and um, modification to it. Mm -hmm. I never got in touch with um, Mike Weirbonix uh, at the core. I'm going to give him another call just to find out. I presume that the core, because most of the uh, uh, resource impacts are associated with the dam, that they will probably just do a, a project of notice change or modification as well. So I don't anticipate them needing a whole new per, uh, permit. We had the DCR, Watershed Protection Area, RDA, or determination, um, Alan Rontana, at that program said you just wanted a, a new uh, permit, just so we have it all, um, just because there is some zone A um, jurisdictional areas on the west side of um, Pomagusset Road to the north of the dam. Uh, and then um, we are also, uh, strangely enough, going to be uh, submitting a chapter 91 waterways program for that small piece of navigable water between the bottom of um, the Molten Pond Dam and the next private dam that's less than 200 feet down. Yeah, I'm, feet I'm, down. I'm laughing because I don't know how anybody can call that navigable, but the uh, the Army Corps sure does. Really? I didn't, re I, I mean, I, I understand the process, mm -hmm. and just because it's navigable, the Chapter 91 folks don't actually have to consider that part of their jurisdiction. I oh. guess the Boston office has a broader term or a broader view of what is in their jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I know talking to other folks and Gary Domain laughed outright when I said we had to uh, file a Chapter 91 waterways program. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that it, it is in a sense laughable, but for whatever reason, the Boston office has said, yep, you need one. So I'm going to move forward with someone has decided at some level that it needs to be done, so it has to be done. No, that's the um, most right thing to do. There's no question in my mind that you really have to. But. Yeah, it is, and and I understand. So uh, we can go from there. I mean, really, other than we've got a um, perennial stream, which is um, Millbrook, and then um, Molten Pond, and all we have is a Zone A public water supply, and then FEMA flood zones, there isn't really anything other resources out there um, other than certainly wetlands um, and banks and things like that but there isn't there aren't any NHSP habitats really um, there's no areas of critical environmental concern no well head, no wellhead areas um, you know the molten pond and, and Millbrook are not listed as a TMDL which may sound funny because people say public water supply why would it be a TMDL but that could be for say invasive aquatic plants that type of thing so it actually could have one, even though it's a water supply. Um, so anyway, I got off track there for a minute. So that's, and then the dam safety permit, uh, that was pending, but it never got completed. I think partially because the town was not able to get the funds to move forward. So um, the permits we have are the order of conditions, the notice of intent, EPA certificate, foreign water quality cert, 404 PCN, the DCR um, Watership Protection Act, Dam safety and then chapter 91. So those are going to be the permits. A lot of them will, some of them will be modified. A lot of the information will, I'll probably include some of the dam information as well 
in the road permit, depending on how it, whether you decide to keep it as separate or combine it. Either way, I'll, I'll include that, whether it's separate or not, right. uh, just so that everybody's aware of what it is. And then we can reference the order of conditions and people can ask us and we can provide that information as, uh, as applicable. Now, I've been trying, obviously, I've been playing around too much. This, no, that's Glenwood. I don't know how I ended up way over there. This, that's Pomacusset right here. Okay. Oh, crap. There's Main Street. I'm just trying to get, is this Richards right here? Is that the first, is Richards the first? Uh, yes. So, I think that's Moulton Mill right there. Yeah, that, that's Richards where you just had your yeah, first. Yeah, right here's Richards. That's what I was trying to find out for sure. Oh, there it is, Richards Ave. Great. So the project runs from here. I'm just going to zoom out again. It actually goes up to Brunel, just north okay. of Brunel. Oh, okay. Which so is it's the right next street. There. Next okay. street. Next street up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's this one right here. Okay, so yeah. that so that's the aqueduct. That's Molten Mill. So it is well, here's the pond. And here are the wetlands. So the areas that could be jurisdictional to Concom are pretty much they're all north of the dam. I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this, this, I think, is outside the range of what you need to worry about. Yep. I believe just south of the dam itself, there's a wetland that is on the east side of the road. And so you might have buffer with um, with that before you get to the aqueduct. Oh, my mistake. This is, no, this is the past. No, nope. that's, that's it. That's it. You've got yeah. uh, wetland B is associated with the dam, and then C and D are up the top by Grinnell and Richardson. And they extend down yes. a little bit. Those those wetlands that the P puts on there aren't quite right, but they're. Oh, well, we knew that. We know that too. But it gives me an idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and clearly, your delineation will will set that up once and for all, which is fine. Yep. Um, so the current orders are for the dam here. Are they for anything else along the road? No. Oh, okay. No, okay. It's just the dam. Just the dam then uh, our usual modus here is to get is to keep we'll, we would keep and extend the orders for the dam and we would request an NOI for the other road work. Okay. Uh, that because, would be... Yeah, I, I mean, there, there are ways that you can consider. Yes, they're related by project now, but they haven't been. Right. That's fine. So basically, there would be two different orders of conditions that the contractor would need to follow. Yes. Okay. All right. Maybe that's fine. I think we can do it that way. We'll now, go. as if I recall, uh, I don't see Miles Road on here anywhere, but I know. Oh, Miles Road is down here. Yes. I remember, they were going to change the what I'm going to call the angle of attack, the angle of approach. From yeah, we've wrote on to Pomagasa. Yes, we're still planning to uh, do that. It's a it's a small ch change to the angle of the uh, just the very end of Miles Road. Yeah, and what I found, <laughs> the only reason that crops up in my mind is, I, we did a site walk and orders for a couple lots right here at that, <laughs> at this first and the second lot after the intersection. Okay. I don't, know, I, I don't know what that will do to their plans. That's not my concern. I'm just telling you. Were there any resources found on their property or anything? Yeah, there were because we went and we walked them. There were some things. It was down back here, as I recall. Yep. Oh, okay. Might have been outside of where we were, you know, looking more than 100 feet off the road. Oh, probably. Uh, Right, there are resources west of those lots and at the bottom of the hill, but they were far enough away that I did not delineate them yeah, because they're outside of the scope. I I agree that those are not, as I say, I'm not bringing it to your attention to say yeah. anything more than 
<laughs> they might be playing. This road changes this property. <laughs> yeah. And they may uh, have some plans for that area. Okay. They, they may good. have thoughts on the order. That's right. <laughs> good, good to know. Thank you. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, I mean, now I've been doing most of the speaking here. Melissa, do you believe that that's the correct approach? And, and uh, Jared and Skip? I would agree. Yeah, same here, Peter. I agree with you. I okay. agree. Awesome. We have unanimity. <laughs> Great. So, Peter, what we do then is, depending on what changes with uh, the width of the spillway from 10 feet to 9.9 .9 feet, and then any changes possibly for foundation work, that type of thing, mm -hmm. if if the um, changes were significant enough, it may just be a uh, modification to the order conditions yes. that's existing right now for the dam. I and believe, then, yep, you're right. Okay. I, I'm, in, I'm in total agreement with you there. Okay, I just want to make sure that that's what we'd be doing and we could discern if if the changes are significant enough that it would require a modification. Right. That's fine. And and we're happy to work with you on determining that. Okay, great. And so I would love to get a copy of the original at some point to know what the actual date is. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tamika, were you around when we did you were here when we did that, weren't you? No, I was yep, I was here. Um I'm sure I could find a copy, but I wouldn't have the original. Well, no, we would have mailed the original to someone. Right. Yeah. Right. I don't need the original. Just a copy would be nice so I know the exact date so that we make sure that we have that as a, on the calendar to say, do not pass this date or it expires. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let me dig into that a little bit, and I will send you an email just to let you know. That would be great. I appreciate that. No problem. So, Tamika, the other question um, about this it's not just the date. Well, did we ever get confirmation that it was filed with the registry? That the orders were filed? I do not have anything to say that. Yeah, finding finding that. Then again, finding the right lot ID for the. For, uh, I don't know. I don't know how easy or difficult it would be to find it in the registry of deeds, assuming it's there. Yeah, it's always challenging with the uh, orders for a roadway project. Right, yeah. right. And to say nothing about who owns what, because if I remember correctly, the state owns Route 50, owns Pomegranate Road. No, it's actually a town maintained roadway. Is it really? Oh, okay. Because I know the town owned the dam, but the town doesn't own the pond. Town does not own the pond, and there's a small portion of the dam structure that goes on to private property. But the town is going to acquire an easement to mm. uh, for future maintenance. Right. Okay. But uh, yes, that's that's correct. So the town does own Route 56. Um, is only state route is 122A Main Street is actually a, a state highway at the end right. of the project, but uh, but the town uh, the town's responsible for maintenance of Route 56. Hmm. I don't think I realized that, but that's good to know. Okay, um, does the commission have other questions or comments? Peter, I was just checking, trying to check the um, date on the original order. Was that? I, I think. This was already mentioned. What was the um, file number for the original order? Did we have that? We do. If you have a pencil ready. I do. So 277-0524. Ah, all right. I think I found it on DEP's website here. Let me just make sure okay. we have the right one. And if it is the right one, 0524, October 10th, 2018. There we I go. was close. Yeah. Perfect. I think I received it somewhere around the second, but it wasn't signed at that point. So I just noted the date and said, we'll get back to it if we have to. All right. So now we know the date. That's fine. Um, well, obviously, I, well, when it's time for for a full concom discussion, we'll certainly have have no problem discussing a simple extension to this, and mods when the final plans are done as necessary. 
Okay. So, do you have any other questions for the commission? Uh, I guess I just have one question about, uh, you know, for the roadway NOI, should we um, should we discuss the work at the dam in that roadway NOI or not uh, repeat that discussion because it's already been covered? I would not repeat that discussion. Okay. I mean, if you want to make a reference to it and to the orders that we, you know, the, the DEP project number, just to, just so you can say we've discussed it and we know about it in your new one, that's fine. But I would not go through all that, everything that goes through that, because we don't want to confuse anybody. Right. <laughs> Very good. We'll, we'll keep the impacts of the roadway separate from the impacts of the, of the work at the dam. Then. Great. Okay. Great. All right. Well, thank you very much for being here and bringing us up to date. All right. Well, thank you for your time and uh, your guidance, and uh, we'll look forward to working with you again soon. Absolutely. It'll be it'll be awfully fun to have that roadway redone. And <laughs> right. they're still raising the uh, the the uh, roadway above the dam a bit, right? Do I remember that correctly? Yes, uh, I yeah. believe we were coming up about a foot. So. Right. Okay. Well, my memory isn't completely shot. Awesome. <laughs> nope. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome right. to stick around. You're welcome to leave. It is up to you and what you'd like to do. I but think... I think we're going to move on. All right. Well, have a good night. and uh, Thanks very much. We'll take care. Thank you very much. Okay. So moving on to the... Uh, so and the Rutland Heights project, we've talked about this before. There is a they 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 CHC Colonial Homes, uh, the group that are developing the portion of of um, the Heights, this lot and this lot with senior housing in phases and all of that. Uh, there is a hearing with the Heights plan. HPDD, the Heights Planned Development District Review Board and the RDIC next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Uh, all are welcome. The highlight of the plan is, uh, in my mind, is here. And with their changes, they've kept all the basins outside the 400 foot, which means that I think we don't have jurisdiction. Well, definitely over the roadway. It's a little deceiving looking at it because actually that green dotted line at the our section at the top looks like a wetland as well, where it goes under the road. So there's definitely buffer zone work, but. Oh, buffer, okay. They they weirdly have the riverfront and the 400, but they don't have the 100 foot on there. Yeah, I kind of noticed that, but that's all right. Actually, I will bring that up when I show up. I'm, I will be at the hearing because I'm at all the hearings. Um, but it's, yeah, it's pretty just, much just that split that I think we'll probably have the most jurisdiction over. Right. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. Only because I was looking at it and I got a little confused. Yeah, the hundred foot from this is all kind of screwy, isn't it? Yeah. Because they, yeah, right. They, because yeah. Okay. I'll I'll ask them to put that on future plans so that there's no question about where the jurisdiction is. I still think this is a gut feel. That one might be far enough away. There's still some work here, but eh, as I say, we'll see what how they measure out. I think it'll just mostly be utilities and stuff and roadway improvements. Right, exactly. Uh, so I invite you all to go to the drive and read the plan and read their full bore HCH, not CHC, uh, Harbor Classic Homes and uh, all of their, oh my, ugh, never, let me not insult the forms. Uh, <laughs> but feel free to read up on it. Um, we'll wait and see because they're not even ready to make a real plan yet. So we don't, none of this is going to be, it, it, this is all informational. It's not anything else in my mind. Questions on that? 
Moving on, conservation restriction for Maple Hill Estates. I have submitted it, not sent it, excuse me. I have sent it to Clee Blair and George Caritzi, who's the attorney. I haven't heard back, but I basically told them what they need to do. Uh, I'll check in in a couple weeks just to make sure that they have. Uh, our changes have to go back to the state for review, assuming that they meet with the applicant's review, the grantee's review. Uh, and once that comes back, everything will be ready for signatures. Uh, I think that we're all ready to sign it, and I'm convinced that we can, that we won't have any problem convincing the select board to sign. So this is, this restriction is now in a holding pattern until they get back to us. Considering how long it took our legal review to happen, I don't know how quickly anything will be done, but there we go. Questions on that? Moving on, Community Preservation Act. Okay, so I had a discussion with the select board last Monday, uh, and nobody screamed bloody murder. Uh, we, we all talked gross, I mean, really high level things. We certainly didn't talk about percentages of, of taxes and things of that nature. And if there'd be an exemption for certain for the for the first some low income number of dollars of taxes etc or property value um i have asked planning board they should be discussing it at their next meeting because my request didn't come in early enough for their last meeting so they should be discussing it at the next meeting um and agcom I think that's no they have open space committee this time hopefully it'll be on their next agenda so we can just so they'll discuss it and let us know if they're interested in supporting it or not uh, i have no other information at this time are there questions moving on to item five that i haven't put on the agenda but i just want to uh the open space committee uh, no, there have been, there's been no motion other than I've asked AGCOM to come up with a member if they are interested. They're having, as I said, that discussion tonight, and we'll see if they nominate a member. But that's all there is. Really fast items so far. So is there any other business to come before the commission? Peter, did you see the email we received uh, late this afternoon um, from Lucas Environmental to the CONCOM email address? I did not, but I can pull that up. So I guess um, Clee is looking to start clear cutting the uh, phase four of Bryce Lemon beginning March 1st. So Lucas is looking to do a site walk with, I believe, us and the DCR ahead of that to make sure all is good. Um, so I didn't know if you guys wanted to maybe touch base or, you know, schedule that and then I can reach back out to them. Yes. Um, so we are very interested in the site walk for phase four. Phase four has the crossing that uh, DCR is, has been very interested in. Um, that crossing is just after the end of phase two so phase so one is the phase that what that's adjacent to charnock hill road phase two is further in from that phase three starts at main street and goes in a ways and phase four connects phase two with phase three which therefore connects the road completely all the way through uh, woodside f all the way from Charnock Hill to Main Street. Uh, so that is a very important one. I am interested, yeah, I am certainly interested in doing a, a site walk. Um, when did he want to do it? Because we've already missed February vacation. Well, that, or is that this week? It's this week, because I think it says this week or next week. Oh, yeah, okay. this week is February vacation. Um, 
my calendar is probably going to make this week very, very difficult, but that doesn't mean people shouldn't go. So I think we're getting some pretty bad weather again, late Thursday into Friday. So yes, that might we put are. This, this week out altogether. Yeah. So um, I'm going to try and look a little further out on the weather app to see what it says. And maybe something Monday. So I'd shoot for mid next week, say Wednesday, the 24th. Uh, would anybody else be available that day? I would. I might be able to, Peter, depending on the time. Okay. So, um, Tamika, why don't you reach out to them, reach out to Chris sure. and, or whoever it is who's doing it. Yep. And let's, let, let's give our proposed date of next Wednesday, the 24th, to see if they're amenable. Okay. I will reach out to them and let you know what they say. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Anything else this evening? Oh, I have one more thing. Oh, darn it. But it's, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's good news. Um, I finally got the receipt back from the Registry of Deeds. Oh. So I'm good to go now to be able to sign. I'm just going to double check with Melissa to remind me what I'm supposed to list out. I know I have to put the book and page number in there. So I'm just going to double check with you, Melissa, before yeah. I actually sign. I'll send anything. you my signature page, what it looks like, and you can just copy and paste oh. into yours. That would be excellent. Thank you. So we're all mm -hmm. set on that front. That is very good news because now you don't have to wait for me. Yeah, that's one last thing off your plate, and then I can just kind of churn them out and get them mailed out. So that that's perfect. Okay. This time for real. We didn't make 45 minutes I was hoping for. Sigh. Is there any other business before the commission today? So oh, here we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Second. Uh, roll call. Clark. Aye. Danza. Aye. Gentilucci. Aye. Crane Eye. We are adjourned. Thank you all so very much. I like having a brief meeting once in a while. Thank you.